everyone, I just wanted to give you a quick update on Badrock. Uh, it is now being retired. Unfortunately, whenever I submit it for the deck check for mid, uh, it didn't pass, partly because there are too many layered combos that can come out of nowhere. And in, in some of the videos leading up to uh, you know, leading up to the 100 games, um, I had mentioned that Wizards in many ways has been pushing Magic and by extension Commander to be primarily creature based. And this is especially true if you look at like competitive Commander. Uh, Spellslinger based win cons are, are uh, moving more into the fringe territory. And creature based combos, uh, most famously like Kiki Cheeky combos and uh, Thoracle are becoming much, uh, pretty much have taken over. And so anything that is spell slinger based that usually requires uh, a number of spells to resolve. Uh, I mean, it's, it's different to, you know, play a deck that casts like a critical spell, like Demonic Consultation after Thassa's Oracle, or a big X spell if you're playing something that can copy it or um, you know something that can just make X big. It, it's different to have to play one spell and back it up by uh, a bunch of counter magic or ways to just make sure that one spell goes off, you know, plus any sort of copies or any other effects that make that spell stronger, uh, versus making a deck that is intentionally trying to cast a ton of spells in a single turn that are not creature based. And so uh, part of the reason why magic has kind of been moving away from this is because that sort of style uh, tends to come out of nowhere. And unfortunately, that's kind of what Vadrock does. So even though in my games, some of the examples, you might have seen that uh, we were interacting with our opponents for much of the game. But for most of the game, we didn't really, uh, we didn't really, um, I guess, forecast that we we're about to combo off. Because really, you know, if we have certain cards in the graveyard, uh, and it, you know we might just be missing one or two cards in our hand in order to combo off or at least start the loop, and that's really where we fell short in terms of the deck check was that there are too many layered combos, right? There are many cards that are just good to play, and then suddenly you draw like Chef's Kiss or something like that, and then bam, you know you're, you've won the game, and it comes out of nowhere. And so they wanted to see a lot more um, opportunities to. Uh, to interact with that, uh, more forecasting. And I don't disagree with that. I believe that uh, losing to a combo that came out of nowhere uh, definitely does not feel very good compared to watching someone combo off with forecasting and see multiple interactive pieces uh, that kind of led up to that combo, you know, it, 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 where someone builds up kind of a you know, not necessarily a huge board state, but a, a board where, you know, two cards are interacting with each other, uh, most notably like the commander and then something else, and then proceeds from there to push that interaction with uh, more interaction pieces that eventually lead to some kind of combo that wins the game. And so that's more of a natural flow. And that's kind of what uh, they're wanting to see in mid is, you know, these sort of interactive plays uh, that are still relatively high powered and really tuned decks, but the wins shouldn't come out of nowhere. And so they told me that I could uh, I could adapt this to fit into their high tier. Um, and of course, in order to make it play in high, uh, I would have to add Dockside Extortionist, which from the very beginning I established I didn't want to build another Vadrock deck that uh, really quickly just tries to tutor up Dockside and then try to go infinite with, with Dockside. And so I've decided, you know, I, can, I have two options really. I can either add Dockside, which kind of breaks, you know, what I said previously, or I could strip it down a lot. Um, and in all honesty, I, I'm not a fan of taking either approach. I think what I've developed, uh, is something that does have many combo lines, many layered combos that are really cool, uh, and it 
the lack of Dockside actually does cause it to not be able to combo off until, you know, I want to say like turn 5 or 6 uh, at the earliest. And that's either by getting lucky, like extremely lucky, or um, just, you know, your, parents, your opponent's feeding you cards by not paying for Rhystic Stutter or Mystic Remora. Um, but on average, I would say this deck combos off and wins somewhere around turn 7 or turn 8 or even later. Uh, which I thought would, you know, be fine for mid, but uh, the real issue is that it can win out of nowhere. And so uh, I am going to be retiring it and um, kind of going back uh, and to to take a different approach with future videos and future decks. I want to kind of start more on a, an iterative process uh, where um, I first present how I build decks rather than just kind of jumping into it as I have been. So look out for that. That's going to be the next video. Is It's going to be a, a video covering the process as a whole. And then I really enjoy working on uh, these types of, um, you know, storm decks. At least right now, I, you know, the goal was originally to build some kind of storm deck and I still want to make another storm deck. And so most likely after I make the video that kind of covers my process and whatnot uh, i'm going to begin working on a creature based storm deck uh, which you know has the benefit of uh, also being able to beat down with creatures and win and that's that's another thing that makes bad rock difficult besides the fact that mutate was only released in one set and we don't have that much support for it outside of that one set um the bad rock deck cannot win with combat Unless someone else has like beat them down to the point where you know you swing for maybe like five damage and then you you, you happen to win the game, but for most parts, for most cases, you know this Vadrock deck has to win through one of its combos. Has no way to win via creatures, and I typically don't like building decks that uh, have no backup game plan. Um, and so, yeah, I, I want to build another storm deck. Uh, I might actually get on a kick and build several storm decks in a row. Um, and, um, and then after that, we'll see, uh, where we go. So stay tuned for, uh, the, the process video and, uh, for the next, uh, storm list that'll be brewing.